Hey, hey, Mr. Retro here, and I have a pretty awesome video to show you guys. It's all about what I experienced at the Missouri Game Con down in St. Peter's, Missouri at St. Charles Community College. So let's check it out. So, I had a blast. The drive down from where I live was about three and a half hours, so not the best travel, um, and I was by myself. But, um, when I was there, oh man, um, there was a line outside, the The campus is great, um, it's, a, it's a nice small little community college campus, but the, the center that we were in was awesome, and... They, they had panels, they had special guests, and we'll get to those here in a minute, um, but I had a blast. This is my first video game convention, um, and it was probably a great way to start that off, and I'd love to go to more. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we uh, what I got from uh, the convention. Um, I When I got my ticket, I pre-ordered my ticket back in May, and so I also got the shirt and there was a couple different options we could pick from but I chose the black shirt Missouri Game Con on the back it says Mo Game Con 2018 and it has some of their vendors and or it says the list of the stuff that they had um they had a uh a cosplay contest which is really cool um not being at a comic con or a video game convention I've never really been into the cosplay scene, and um, I have friends that like to do that, and it's always kind of interested me. So seeing that and, and talking with some of the cosplayers was really cool. Um, and, and some of the cosplayers had um, tables set up where they talked about their costumes, how they make them, um, some of the different molds that they use. Uh, so it was really, really interesting. They had some tournaments that they had set up uh, in the center area. Which was really pretty cool. I didn't get a chance to hop into those. I was just more kind of taking it all in. Um, the guests that they had, some of the ones that um, I personally follow are Metal Jesus Rocks and most of his crew. So, uh, Kinzilla, Kenzie, um, John Riggs, Reggie of Radical Reggie, Kelsey Lewin, um, and so she, uh, she and I think his name is Cody sure um but they they were down there um repping pink gorilla which is their uh video game store that they have in the uh, northwest but yeah oh and they had so many more people that uh i may not be very familiar with but i was super excited about meeting those guys um they're kind of my inspirations in getting out into the uh retro youtube world so it was really awesome and i got some cool stuff from them as well but um the, the vendors were all really nice. Everyone was just super nice. Um, they had lots of tables set up for video games, memorabilia, um, action figures, small toy areas. There's just lots of really fun stuff. So let's go ahead and jump into some of the stuff that I purchased. Um, I didn't have a huge budget to work with, so I kind of just, I, I did a few passes around the center because it was just one day. So it's not like I could have waited a day for them to do like the deals before they pack up. So I did a couple passes and I kind of bought some things as I went. So the first thing I want to talk about um, is I got this 3D printed Kirby. Um, let me see if I can get it to where the light isn't going to affect it too much. You can kind of see the eyes in there. But yeah, it's 3D printed. Um, I did ask if it's paintable because I'd like to paint the shoes and paint in the eyes and the mouth area. And they said it was totally uh, paintable. You might have to do a light sanding to get some of the texture off from the 3D print lines. But it's really cool. It's really light. I'm sure it's got a structure built in to kind of keep it solid. Um, it doesn't feel very uh, flimsy. It's very nice, hard. And it's just, it's super cool. I love Kirby. So this was great. And they are sat -er day video games and i will put a link to their email down in the description below 
So if you're interested in 3D printed stuff, um, you can give them, uh, you can shoot them an email about all that. Um, they also had like dice towers for RPGs and things like that, and uh, obviously other models that they 3D print. Um, I know Kelsey Lewin got a Pikachu, which I thought about getting, um, and she even tried to use a red Sharpie on him, which didn't quite work out too well, so I think she's probably going to go ahead and paint him. But they they had little they had little like uh, mini consoles that they three D printed and they also had like a bomb for Mario so it was pretty interesting. Next thing I got was from a vendor for Prestige Electronics. They do repairs, but they also sell video games. And I purchased three games from them, and these are really to some PS three games to kind of fill up my collection. Just games I don't have. Um, my PS3 collection isn't big. It's just this section right here. You can kind of see. Um, and then we start getting into PS4 and VR stuff. So my PS3 collection isn't, isn't massive. So I wanted to start padding that a little bit more. Um, I have one Dragon Age game right somewhere. I have a Dragon Age game somewhere. But uh, I bought Dragon Age Origins Awakening and Dragon Age 2. And then I bought Resident Evil Gold Edition. Um, I don't know if it's going to come with anything. I don't know if any of those are going to come with anything. But they were fairly reasonably priced, and um, so I went ahead and pulled the trigger on them. I thought it'd be kind of fun. Now, the next thing I want to show you guys is something really awesome. They had um, two of the actors who did the capture work. And I, and I don't want to say motion capture because this predates motion capture, but it was um, actual video footage, like video camera footage, uh, capture for Mortal Kombat. Um, now, I'm going to put their names down because I want to make sure that I don't mispronounce their names, but I'm going to put their names down um, below on the video so you guys can see it. But they signed my Sega Genesis copy of uh of mortal Kombat, and it's really cool um the the actor who actor and martial artist um who did the capture work for scorpion um actually coined the phrase get over here which is awesome it's such an iconic phrase so he came up with it and so he signed it right there um and i'll be showing pictures of these things kind of at the end of the video so you can get a closer look at all the stuff i got um, so you can kind of look at the, the signatures, but, um, this was such a cool moment. It was kind of one of those surreal moments because you don't always think about, um, the work that goes into the, the, especially those kind of fighting games where they, they captured people just jumping up and down a hundred times and talking with them. Um, by the way, they were super nice. They, they gave me so much, um, uh, so many details and, and, in the history of kind of how this game came to be, which is really awesome. And and they didn't have to do that. They had a panel coming up later in the day that they were going to talk about it, but they, they took the time to tell me at the table, which I thought was really, really cool of them. Um, but to, just to kind of see how it gets made and, and, and all that stuff. And it's just such a cool story. Um, so, yeah, Mortal Kombat signed by Kano and Scorpion. Um, which is awesome. Next thing I want to show you is I have two copies of the exact same comic book. Um, this comic book is titled Final Street. Um, if you want to follow them on Instagram, I'm going to post their Instagram link down in the description box below. They um, did a Kickstarter for their first issue of their comic book. That is loud computer noise. Um, they uh, did a Kickstarter for their first issue of their comic book, and it got uh, picked up by Devil's Due Comics. Now, I have both the Kickstarter and the actual, and they signed both. Um, you can kind of see it better like that. Now, kind of the overall rundown of what this is, it's video game inspired, like Street Fighter inspired um, uh, superheroes um, who, who essentially just fight street gangs. And it's really awesome. It's a, a huge role reversal. Um, of the classic damsel in distress story where Sully, 
this redhead. She's kind of the, the spunky, um, impulsive one. Her boyfriend gets kidnapped in a big brawl, and her friend Kumi, yes, Kumi, uh, kind of comes in and helps her track him down. And I don't want to give anything away in there, but it's it's really cool. The art is really well done. Um, Brian Atkins is the artist. His The art in here is amazing. Um, it is top tier comic book stuff. They um, and Scott Schmidt is the writer for this, and it's so well done. It's super cliche in the right way, where it's one of the things where you will smile reading a lot of the dialogue, and the way the story unfolds in this issue is really, really well thought out. Everything is really um, uh, thought through in the pacing. I never felt like they were dragging on too long or going too fast. I really felt like when I was reading through the issue um, that I could see it kind of progress. And it was really well done. I heavily recommend it. Um, I think they're doing another Kickstarter for their second issue. I'm not sure. Um, but if they are, I'll throw that link down in the description box below as well. So, um, yeah, Final Street, great, great comic. Um, I read it twice just so I could make sure I got, like, everything. Absorbing the art, reading over the dialogue multiple times. It was such a great thing. Um, and the Kickstarter edition comes with a few little things in the back. Um, they also give me, like, a sticker and a bookmark and a, and uh, their card and things like that, too, that kind of came in with this. The next thing, I guess I will grab this. Um, this is from 1UP. The 1UP card, and they're cartridge cleaners. Cartridge and console cleaners, I guess. Um, and I've been following these guys for a little while, and I've never jumped in to buying their products. But they uh, were down at the convention, and I thought, now's the time. So I got the console cleaner for the Sega Genesis. Sega Genesis is the system that I have the most games for. Um, I have a little over 100 games for the Sega Genesis. And it's the one that if I were to get a full set, that would be the, the system I'd want to get a full set for. Now, the way that this works is it's got a little cleaning pad. You just kind of stick it in there, um, and it pulls some of the, the grime and the uh, that gets left over on the contacts. Um, and, it, and it's, you know, a cartridge, which is really cool. Um, I also got a sticker from them. And I got some cleaning cartridge pads which these are universal um, for each of the cartridges, and they have a solution that you can put on the pads to help wipe off some of the grime. Um, and the solution, I yeah, it's just isopropyl alcohol. Um, it's 99%, which is a little bit higher than you usually get when you buy like the, the big bottles. So usually the higher alcohol content, the safer it is for your system. So it came with three pads. Um, John Riggs was there, and he has his business card as a one-up cartridge cleaner so I also have one of those so I have four cleaning pads um, I probably won't use John Riggs card though that'll probably kind of go up on my little youtuber display uh, of stuff I've got from the convention but I thought this was a really a, a really opportune time to kind of jump in to this uh, I'd like to eventually get the cartridge cleaner and console cleaners for each of the systems that they carry um, but I just I decided just to start with the Sega Genesis so one up card um, I'm looking forward to going through, spending a couple hours and cleaning all my games, cleaning, um, I have a few Segas, Sega Genesis, um, I'm going to go ahead and clean all those, and I'm actually really looking forward to it, so I may just do a deep cleaning and take everything apart and all that good stuff. Um, the next thing I bought is a Sega, or not a Sega, a Nintendo DSi, um, and it works I, I tested it out before I bought it. Um, he had a couple. This was the one that was in the best shape. I don't have a DSi. I have a DS Lite, a 3DS, and a new 3DS XL. I never got a DSi because I got my DS Lite as they were coming out, and then when the DSi came, it wasn't a big enough jump for me to justify uh, getting it yet. The camera didn't quite... That wasn't enough to sell me on it. So... I, go, I went ahead and got this one. It doesn't have a charge cord, which those aren't too expensive just to find online, so I can go ahead and pick one of those up. But it was 20 bucks, so I couldn't couldn't go wrong. Um, 
but yeah, it works. The screen lights up. It's a, it's a great screen. Um, I think it's dead now. Oh no, still has some power. It's been traveling in my bag for a couple days and, uh, it's been sitting off to the side, but yeah, it still works. Everything goes through. There's even some pictures left over from the previous owner. So I'll make sure that we don't put those on camera because I don't know what's all in there. Um, so I got a DSi as well. Um, let's do these first or these next. I got a couple posters and they got a little rolled up in my bag. They're not really bent. They're just kind of rolled. The first one, and this one's going to be kind of hard to see until, unless I angle it down. This is a Sonic the Hedgehog 2 poster, which is really awesome. I love Sonic. Being a Sega person, I love Sonic. And I thought that this would be a great thing to get. I'll put it, put this in a nice little frame, and it'll be great wall decor for uh, my, my media room, my game room. The next one I got, just because I feel like I have to represent Nintendo a little bit, uh, me being a bigger Sega fan um, doesn't stop me from still enjoying a lot of Nintendo things. Um, I got a Super Smash Brothers character poster, which is from the new Super Smash Brothers because it has Mega Man. But yeah, another cool little poster. And I, I thought about getting a couple of the same orientation, both horizontal or both vertical, but I decided not to match. And they're probably not going to go right next to each other anyway. The next thing I want to get is into my YouTuber stuff. Um, the Metal Jesus crew, um, John Riggs, uh, has his own repros of games. And he does it of some of other YouTubers. And this one is Kinsey's Beer Run. And so I had to get this, and I told Kinsey that this would be the the game that I would probably drink and play to. Um, I usually don't do that when I play video games. Um, but this would be the one that I would when I would uh, when I would play. Um, and I had Kinsey sign it. I had John Riggs sign it. And I had Metal Jesus sign it, because they were kind of right there at that table. I think Reggie was doing a panel at that time, and I think Kelsey was meandering around. So... Um, I decided to get this, and it's. I'm really excited to play it. Um, I'm kind of scared. I don't really want to put it in my Nintendo and scratch it up, but it, games need to be played. Um, so I'll play it, and we'll see how it goes. But this will definitely go on my um, my display of YouTuber stuff. So, Kinsey's Beer Run. Now, let me start with official things. <laughs> the uh, Kelsey co-owns Pink Gorilla the retro video game store, or not just retro, but video game store, and uh, they have pins, and so I got myself a pin, it's a little pink gorilla, again, you'll be able to see all the stuff later, I'll kind of do some pictures of everything at the end of the video, of, of my kind of experience, and um, some other things as well. Now, after I got this pin, and towards the end of the convention, I think... Adam, of Adam Korolik, who was also there. Um, great guy. Super nice. Um, shorter than I thought he would be, uh, if I'm not going to lie. Um, when, when I watch his videos, he always seems to be, you just, you don't think about that kind of thing. Um, John Riggs was taller than I thought he was going to be. Uh, Jason Metal Jesus was taller than I thought he was going to be. Kinsey is shorter than I thought she was going to be. Um, Kelsey, I knew was short. Um, and she was even wearing like heels and was still fairly short, but Adam, shorter than I thought he was, but great, nice guy. Um, he, he was, I think he gets a little bored sometimes <laughs> and he got some, uh, pieces of notebook paper out and started to draw as Kelsey or as, yeah, as Kelsey was drawing on the back of some of her stickers. So they had pink gorilla stickers as well. And so I grabbed a few of these before, but when I came back and I saw Adam and Kelsey drawing, um, Kelsey decided to make a little Pikachu, and she said I could have it. She signed it right there at the bottom. You can see it there. There we go. Well, well, it's not really great, but you'll see it towards the end. But Adam said, that's not the real Pink Gorilla logo. This is the real Pink Gorilla logo. So he drew this. It is. He says it's the real one, and he signed it, and he said cooler than Kelsey. Um, he goes, Pink Gorilla Games real uh <laughs> real version so that's gonna go up in my youtuber stuff as well so thank you adam for that that was it was awesome and hilarious um but yeah my whole 
uh, experience at the convention was great. Um, there wasn't really anything that I could say bad about the the, the convention. I the only thing I wish I could say was that it was longer. Um, the like they had a little small concessions area. Um, and they had a little, like, sitting area, but they had stand-up arcade cabinets, which was really cool. Um, so, people could go in and just kind of relax, kind of get away from a lot of the people, but still kind of keep themselves in the video game spirit, and they could play some classic, uh, arcade cabinets as well. Um, I saw a lot of people bring their, essentially their whole families. Um, kids were there. It's very family-friendly, uh, family and they, uh, it, it's really it's really awesome to see kind of the different generations of uh, mother and son, father and son, mother, daughter, father, daughter, wh whoever going after some of these uh, video games and video game memorabilia, meeting people that they see on YouTube or that they see at other conventions or um, m meeting the people who, who own or run the, the things that they, they purchase from uh, or the businesses that they purchase items from. So it was, it was a really cool experience. Um, but it was done. And so I came back and I decided, you know what? I think I'm going to do a pickups video for this. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos, um, go ahead and hit that subscribe. Uh, you can also check out all of my social media down in the description below. Um, if you're ever searching for it, it's M-M-R-R-E-T-R-O. Two M's, two R's, E-T-R-O. Mr. Retro. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.